Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys named betting favorites to land Bill's three-time Pro Bowler. Since the end of the 2023 season, the Dallas Cowboys have been linked to moves for high-profile wide receivers to complement C.D. Lamb. And when it comes to Buffalo Bills wide receiver Stephon Diggs, no team has been more connected to a move than Dallas. Of course, that is, in part, due to Diggs' relationship with brother and Cowboys CB Travon Diggs. But perceived issues in Buffalo this past season have increased speculation, to the point where bookmakers are offering bets on where the 30-year-old will play next. As those odds have opened, Bovada has labeled the Cowboys as the favorite to sign Diggs, should he join a new team. The book has Dallas listed at plus 200 odds, while NFC East rival New York Giants are second at plus 400. It is really nothing new in the Diggs saga. Dallas will likely be linked to Stefan Diggs as long as Trevon is on the Cowboys roster. That being said, adding a receiver of his caliber is definitely worth considering. If he really wants out of Buffalo, Dallas could be in an advantageous position. The Bills don't have much bargaining power outside of the contract itself, and Diggs isn't getting any younger. Diggs' decrease in production. After three consecutive Pro Bowl seasons, it's safe to say 2023 was a disappointment for Diggs. Besides the fact that Buffalo fell short in the playoffs, his connection with Bills QB Josh Allen just wasn't great. According to PFR, Diggs caught 107 receptions for 1183 receiving yards and eight touchdowns. That is still an exceptional season in the NFL, but it was a serious step down from his 2022 season. The former Maryland Terrapin went for 1,429 yards and 11 TDs on 108 catches last season. From a potential suitor's perspective, his drops the red flag. Some of Diggs' dip can be attributed to Allen's career-high 18 interceptions, but Diggs dropped eight passes for the second consecutive season. On 160 targets, that's not a bad rate, but his ineffectiveness in the Bills' final game doesn't help. Diggs caught three passes for 21 yards against the Kansas City Chiefs, but had a huge drop downfield. It's clear there is some disconnect in Buffalo, but how much it can be attributed to Diggs remains to be seen. Cowboys CB tells brother to get out of there, part of the reason there is so much speculation around the Diggs and the Cowboys is Trevon's social media activity. Both brothers are outspoken individuals, but Trevon being sidelined with injuries has seemingly given him more time to weigh in. Of all his posts and comments about Stefan joining Dallas, his post from November 13 is arguably the most incendiary. After the Bills' 24-22 loss to the Denver Broncos, Trevon took to X to comment on his brother's status. Man 14 gotta get up out of there, the Cowboys CB wrote in a post that has received over 37,000 likes. After that loss, Buffalo did find their way. The Bills went 6-1 to end the regular season, but Diggs didn't exactly turn on the Jets. The Buffalo star caught 44 passes for 388 receiving yards and one touchdown. Cowboys pushed to replace Tony Pollard with physically dominant runner, the Dallas Cowboys could be on the search for a new franchise running back. As the Cowboys enter the offseason, they'll do so with running back Tony Pollard hitting free agency. Dallas could obviously re-sign, or even reapply the franchise tag on Pollard. But if they decide to go in a different direction, Indianapolis Colts running back Zach Moss is someone Dallas should pursue, says Bleacher Report's Joe Tanzi. Tansy argues that Moss was a solid supporting piece to Jonathan Taylor as the Colts' rushing attack ranked within the top 10 in all major rushing categories, rushing yards, touchdowns and yards per attempt. They could land a solid depth running back, like Zach Moss, to help the transition at the position from Pollard and Rico Dowdle, writes Tansy. Dallas may be best off finding its new primary running back in the middle rounds of the 2024 NFL Draft, but if it goes that route, it needs to have a veteran in support of that player. Why Zach Moss will be hot name in free agency The 26-year-old Moss had a breakthrough campaign in 2023 as he began the season as the Colts' starting running back. Due to Taylor being placed on the physically unable-to-perform list, Moss started five of the Colts' first six games. 
Moss ran for 466 yards on 96 carries on 4.9 yards per carry and four touchdowns during that stretch. While his role obviously diminished with the return of Taylor, he still posted the best season of his career. Moss finished the season with 794 yards on 183 carries on 4.3 yards per attempt to go along with five touchdowns in 14 games and eight starts. Just prior to the 2020 NFL draft, CBS Sports' Dave Richard raved over Moss's physically dominant running style. Zach Moss was a physically dominant rusher at Utah. If he can do the same in the NFL, he'll be among the best running backs in his rookie class. With Taylor entrenched as the Colts' starting running back, he signed a three-year, $42 million contract extension during the season. It's likely that Moss seeks another situation where he'll be able to either start, at least garner the majority of the carries. According to Spatrack, Moss's market value is $4.6 million per year across two seasons at slightly more than $9.2 million. Moss would still just be the 18th highest paid back in the league. Why Cowboys could allow Tony Pollard to walk in free agency. By comparison, Pollard's projected market value is $6.6 million per year across three seasons at slightly more than $19.8 million which would make him the 11th highest back in the league. While Pollard's efficiency declined big time in his first season as a starting back, he averaged carry in comparison to the 5.2 yards per attempt he averaged during the 2022 season, he's still one of the better dual threat backs in the league. Furthermore, he has a Pro Bowl selection, 2022, on his resume and scored 12 touchdowns, ranking 8th in the NFL, last season. To top it off, Pollard proved he can at least carry the load as a full-time running back, ranking sixth in the NFL with 307 touches. By comparison, Moss has started just 11 of his 53 career appearances and has never posted more than 210 touches in a single season. As Tansy mentions, if Pollard chases big money elsewhere, the Cowboys have to bring in a veteran, like Moss, to complement a young back they'll likely target in the draft. The possibility also exists where the Cowboys could simply pair Pollard and Moss together, if Pollard doesn't find a bigger deal elsewhere, but if Dallas is forced to move on from their Pro Bowl runner, Moss is a good replacement to target. Ex-Cowboys OTDT signs with 49ers in free agency. Former Dallas Cowboys offensive tackle is joining the San Francisco 49ers after nearly four years with the NFC East team. Isaac Alarcon has been a unique project for the Cowboys, but he is now taking his services to the Niners. Alarcon never hit the field for a regular season snap, but spent several years with the Cowboys as part of the NFL's International Player Pathway program. On January 23, the 49ers announced they had picked up the 25-year-old on a reserve futures deal. There may be Cowboys fans who are even unaware of Alarcon due to the lack of regular season action. However, Dallas spent three-plus years developing the two-side player from Monterey, Mexico. Now, he will be heading to California in order to develop further. Obviously, Alarcon isn't playing in the playoffs due to the reserve, future contract and has an uphill battle to make the roster in San Francisco. But the 49ers wouldn't pick him up if they didn't think there was some chance they could develop him further. San Francisco sore spot for Dallas. While the Cowboys avoided playoff elimination from the 49ers for a third consecutive year, the latest chapter in one of the NFL's most prominent rivalries has been difficult for Dallas. The Niners dominated the Cowboys 42-10 back on October 8. At the time, it prompted serious concerns over whether Dallas was even in the same class as San Francisco. Three months later, one team is in the NFC Championship and the other was eliminated in the NFC wildcard round. The fact that the Green Bay Packers eliminated Dallas and then held their own against San Francisco in the divisional round only adds to the juxtaposition. The Cowboys were supposed to be at the peak of their powers, but instead they were just below par. Alarcon has played no factor in that as a practice squad player, but Dallas fans might be watching him closely. San Francisco has consistently gotten the most out of their entire roster for years and getting Alarcon to the next gear would prompt questions of why the Cowboys could not achieve the same.